Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Earth Juice. This week we're looking at what the world looks like through the eyes of a cat and what are the benefits of seeing the world as other animals do. New research into feline vision has been comparing how cats and humans see the world. Artist and researcher Nicolay Lam has created a series of images showing how cats perceive the same scenes as us. Undertaking his research with the help of the ophthalmology group at Pennsylvania's Veterinary Center, Lam's work reveals some intriguing findings. According to the research, humans see a much wider spectrum of colors than cats due to the shape of our retina. So while we see a bright, multicolored world in the middle of the day, a cat-sized view of the same scene is much more muted. But while the shape of our retinas allows us to see this broad spectrum of colors, it does greatly reduce how we see in the dark. In fact, cats can see six to eight times better than us at night. And that's because they have differently shaped retinas, elliptical pupils, and large corneas. However, cats don't have it all their own way. There are some things that humans are better at, and long distance vision is one of them. In fact, an object that we can pick up from around 45 meters away, a cat would have to be within seven meters to see. However, the victory for the human race is short-lived, I'm afraid, because on the next metric, the cats win again, and that is peripheral vision. Now, humans have about a 20 degree range at either side of our head, whereas cats have up to 30. That means that a cat also has a much bigger total visual field than humans. They can see around 200 degrees around their body, whereas humans just have a paltry 180. So if I did want to see like a cat, I'd have to have different shaped pupils and retinas, and I'd also have to invent something like this to increase my visual field. Or maybe something slightly better than that. Anyway, it got us thinking, what amazing adaptations are there in the natural world for sight? First up, the Tarsia, or as fans of Zay Frank and his True Fact series might know them, the Tarsia. These small squirrel-sized primates from Asia have huge eyes. In fact, they're the largest eyes proportional to body size of any mammal in the world. In fact, if humans had the same eyes proportional to body size, they'd be the size of these grapefruits. And with each of those eyeballs weighing more than its own brain, the Tarsia's eyes are extremely well adapted to nighttime hunting. Of course, no human has grapefruit-sized eyes, so we've had to invent ways to see in the dark, and this is one of them. These are night vision goggles, and they utilize infrared light to help us see in pitch black. Of course, that's a bit of a cheat because we can't sense infrared light normally. However, it's a bit of a better cheat than my attempt at 200 degree vision. Our next candidate, however, is the master of sensing movement. While all spiders have eight legs, they don't all have the same number of eyes. Some have two, some four, some six, even up to eight, each pair performing a different task. Props department really went to town this week. While more nocturnal species of spider generally just use their vision to distinguish between night and day, those active during the day, such as jumping, net casting, wolf and flower spiders, need really good vision. And that's because they're using it for hunting, for recognizing mates and rivals, and also for detecting movements, which could mean the difference between life and death. So we've seen animals with wide fields of view, with excellent night vision, and who can detect the tiniest movements. But against the cats, we thought we had really good long distance vision, but we are nothing compared to the masters, the birds of prey. Like us, birds of prey have forward facing eyes and they're also able to rapidly focus on objects as they fly, much like us as we move around. Also like humans, birds of prey have binocular vision, meaning that both of their eyes are working together at the same time. But the key difference here is in long distance sight. That can be up to eight times better than ours in some species of birds of prey, enabling them to spot their prey three kilometers away. Once again, humans have had to invent to get even close to that kind of vision. But the equivalent is like me spotting a sandwich 33 American football fields away. And even these are not gonna help me do that. So that's this week's juice. If you wanna see a peregrine falcon using that eyesight to hunt a mountain biker, click on the link down here. And if you wanna see some true facts about the Tarsier, click on Zay Frank's film down there. There's links to both in the description and also down there is a load more information about cat's eyesight. We'll see you next time.